want me to help you. Should I go? Can I offer help if you don't talk to me? If you can't tell me what is wrong with you, how you come know them, how I go help you. Tell you, make you not talk to people. Then you've been working with them. I will video you, I will video you. But I need to talk with him. Two of them will enter my car. We drive straight to the hospital. I'm not going to pay. The reason he is begging, and somebody wants to pay. That was the scenario witnessed at Amobia Junction Axis along Oka Onicha Expressway when a good Samaritan who desired to assist the vulnerable sick boy from Bainway State to access health care but only discovered that human traffickers are at it again, masquerading under the guise of a non governmental organization. The drama started when the good Samaritan who was driving through Oka Onicha Expressway on reaching Amobia Mobia Junction flyover beheld the sight of a 14-year-old boy and another youth soliciting financial help from people. Out of compassion, the person alighted and tried to engage them in discussion on how she could come in as a helper, but to her utmost surprise, she was greeted with some questionable attitudes. First was that the 14-year-old boy who was alleged to be receiving treatment from Enugu Teaching Hospital has never stepped into any hospital in reference to his present health condition. It was also gathered that a good Samaritan who requested for the account number of Enugu Teaching Hospital was given a wrong account. To crown the whole fraudulent assumption, the human trafficking suspect flared up, insisting that only cash and not money transfer of any sort is needed from those who wish to assist the poor boy. He warned the boy of the consequences he will face if he ever speaks to anyone. It was at this point that the Commissioner for Women and Social Welfare, Honorable Ifeo Binabo, was contacted, and at her instant, and with the help of members of Ocha Brigade on duty, the agent and his victim were taken to Amaku General Hospital, Oka, where they interfaced with the Commissioner. How many would I take? We are three now. This hospital they work on that. No, there is one white man. I said, he told us. That you are in charge, you are the organ on top. Say, any time where they get money, my you they carry the money, two of us. Of course, well, we are not the one, but the one we are handing over to now. The sister, uh, now the sister, no be you, Abby. Yes. Can we have an idea of how much you get every day, average? How much you get every day? So, when I go go do this thing, come back, when I know they can't the money at all at all. See that you've gone to Enugu Teaching Hospital with the money? Yes, but I'm stuck But if I gain money, like, I'm stuck to go Excuse. Excuse. Wait. You said earlier on you've not gone to any hospital. Then I asked you, is it true you've gone to hospital, mm -hmm. uh, any state uh, hospital? You said yes. No, so, I know what yeah. Is today the first time you are going to beg for money or not? Yes, not today. Somebody said you've been begging money since last two weeks. Is it true or false? And you came since Friday, last week. Yes. Which one is true? Not since last week, Friday. Where are they living? Where are you living no, in Oka? No, 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 no. Where in Onita are they live? Not for premium. Atani, Atani Road. Una hire a house? Yes, no, yes. not the house. All yeah. company? Old hotel. An old hotel. You, not, you stay for hotel? How much you are they pay? How much you are they pay? don't collect for the boy head? No, we never collect anything. Like how much? Because you get into the business for some time for what you are saying. So how much you are they collect for like every day? Sometimes, if you are good for much, you will see my name that you get that. Uh, if somebody gave out a particular account number, claiming that it's uh, the hospital's account number, is it true or false? No, 
So now every morning, we are going collect. Now you are going to come back in the So now you do the work on top of the business. Now you begin the business, right? The first thing there that is very clear is that at least you heard them call it business work. They see it as business. They see Anambra State as a dumping ground where anybody can come in and do whatever thing the person wants to do. All the statements, they are not saying the same thing. They didn't say the same thing. So which one are you going to believe? Why must it be Anambra State? It wouldn't be business as usual. We've known the person that is in charge of Anambra State now. And the First Lady is so passionate about stopping child abuse, stopping all this child trafficking and all that. So if you know you are into that kind of business, know that you wouldn't have it easy again in Anambra State. At Amako General Hospital, the sick boy was hospitalized and treated for one week, courtesy of the commissioner, before the boy was handed over to his elder brother. So 117,000, and that's what I would pay. Hmm? And they've been giving him medication yes. all this time. Yes. You see 20,000, eh? So at least it should be enough so that tomorrow you can carry your brother. They'll then. They must have finished uh, giving him this assistance that we got. Then we carry and go there. Reacting to the entire situation, the wife of the governor of Anambra State, Mrs. Nonya Soludo, who spoke in a telephone interview, reminded both indigents and non indigents of the state that Section 1 of Trafficking Against Persons Prohibition Act 2015 and the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act 2015, otherwise known as VAP, uphold such wicked attitude and will not be tolerated in Anambra State. For ABS News Insider, I am blessing Austin Maker.